Let's say you've been viewing dashboards and you're beginning to use them as a starting point to find the answers to your own data questions. Now your manager has come to you, asking that you create your own dashboard containing metrics to share with your team. Where do you start? There are several ways to create your own dashboards. The first method, covered in this video, is to create a blank dashboard and start adding tiles. But you can also create a dashboard from an explore or a look. These methods are covered in detail in other videos. You can create a new dashboard from either your personal or your shared folder. The dashboard will appear in the folder you're starting from. You can get started by clicking New in the upper right and then Dashboard. Give your dashboard a name and then click Create Dashboard. You now have a blank dashboard without any tiles on it. There are three general types of tiles, query tiles, look link tiles, and text tiles. Query tiles can be defined from an explorer or from the dashboard itself, and you'll need to decide on the data you want to include and the visualization you want to show. Typically, it's best to use query tiles instead of look link tiles. Look link tiles use the query and visualization of a saved report, referred to as a look. The look you are linking to must be in the same folder as the dashboard, or the dashboard will show an error. Typically use look link tiles if several dashboards need the same tile. In this case, create a look and maintain that query and visualization in one place, and then link to the look from your dashboards. Look linked tiles can only be added to a dashboard from the look itself. Keep in mind that query and look link tiles have the same appearance. You can also create a text tile, which does not have a query. These tiles can be used to add headers and descriptive text to your dashboards. To get started creating tiles, click Edit Dashboard. Next, you can add a tile by clicking the Add Tile button in the center of the screen or in the top toolbar. The Add Tile button in the toolbar gives the option to create a text tile as well as a visualization. Click Add Tile in the center of the screen to add a visualization. Looker displays a window where you can choose and explore to start building your query. Use the search bar to search for a query, for example, order items, which holds the data for an e-commerce store. From here, you can explore the data in order items and create your own query. If you're not sure how to use dimensions and measures, Looker has videos on getting started, or check out Looker's documentation. In the example here, the dimensions and measures being added show a count of returns by month and category. A filter has been added, so we only see data for the past three months, and it's also a good idea to pivot the data table on products category so the visualization reads clearly. Click Run to see the results. Looks good. Now that you have a query you'd like to save, give your tile a relevant title and click Save. The visualization appears as the first tile on your dashboard. To add more tiles, you can click Add Tile in the upper left. But if you're done, you can click Save to save the new dashboard and exit edit mode. Thanks for watching. In this video, you learned one way to create your own dashboards.